Hi guys, how flights? Um, I haven't done an update in a while. Um, uh, basically, it's been pitch black when I come in from work. I can't really show you the birds because I've got no uh, electricity running through to my kit box. But I've been busy. Um, can't wait till pairing up, which is uh, about three or four weeks away. Uh, but for now, <clears throat> making some training baskets. Me and my dad decided on um, making them was a cheaper option. You can buy them online, pigeon websites or whatever. Um, they're about, you know, the cheapest one we found was about 30 quid. And um, this one costs just under 20 to make. So uh, I'll show you what we did. My dad's the builder slash chippy. He's really good at making these things. He's going to make our loft as well because it's going to be, I can't wait to make it. It's going to be wicked, the race loft. Um, inch by inch tim uh, timber, which um, we got from B&Q, which is like the British version of Home Depot, I suppose you call it in America. Um, and this lath I got for free at work. We use it to um, hang slates for a uh, wet lace scantle roofing. Um, and it's a really good alternative, smart um, option than doweling. Doweling's expensive, um, and I didn't pay a penny for those because I got it from work. Uh, what we did was we framed it out. Well, my dad framed it. I got all the cuts done for this. What we did was we put a lav, then a space with a lav, and then basically carried it on through. So it's all equal gaps, um, purely for um, the visual side of things. Um, five mil handy panel of plywood. You don't need the thick stuff because um, it will be heavy. I did bring a 1938 baton, but it was really heavy, so I didn't bother. Um, and then we put the lav around as well to hide any rough cuts because I did nail them at the end and a few of them split. But I got the Gorilla Glue, which is PVA, and um, a couple of clamps. Clamps are here that I used. Uh, if you don't need the woodwork, they're fucking ideal for that sort of thing. Um, and it cuts dry in time and half. Um, so yeah, it's, I think it's pretty smart uh, myself, and it's cheap. Literally costs just under 20 quid to do. And like I said, the ones that are online are about 30 quid. Wicker basket is just ridiculous. Wicker is about, uh, you're talking about 80 quid for a cheap work, for, for a, a decent one. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, we've just got the uh, the liberation door down here. There we go. Just got one of those little catches. Um, sweet. Just going to fit a couple of handles each end. Um, so, yeah, there you are, guys. Nice, cheap um, training basket. Um, I will make a few more when it comes to racing season. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to space these apart, apart a bit further. Because with the young birds, you've got to obviously train them to the crate for feeding um, while we're in the transporter for food and water. So um, this is just going to be for uh, training our birds. I've got the uh, the door ready. The door's ready to go on. It's just got a little handle there and um, countersunk holes for the screws. Um, so yeah, um, I do recommend making your own because it is a lot of money for a decent basket. So um, I will do another update soon, but for now I'll sign off, guys. Um, I've got stinking cold, so uh, yeah, the joys of uh, working outside in this shit. Um, shout out to Kingsley Mac, um, Hawaiian Brian, Joe M. Tiplers, Hammers Flight Kit Box, um, Aloha Pigeons, and another guy that subscribed, but I can't really pronounce his name, it's German, I don't really know what it is, but... Thumbs up, thanks for subscribing, and uh, any comments will be appreciated. Um, I'll get back to you. Hope you're all doing really well, your birds are doing well. Um, I've noticed hams, flight kit boxes, birds are looking well after the treatment, so well done with that, mate. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.